Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios, and I'm Warhammer Man. Uh, man, do I have some things to show you. Uh, as you can see, I've been working on a couple things for the Necromunda Zone Mortalis, um, but uh, also did a couple like random um, little prints and everything uh, as well. So I essentially have like incorporated some of uh, the 3D printed stuff uh, with some like actual uh, Games Workshop stuff. So um, first we got these little guys. Uh, what they are is basically like a turret um, emplacement but the idea is essentially that this is like the turret once it pops up it has like the actual you know this one's like two heavy flamers on it um, but like before the turret like pops up you know there's a turret there but it hasn't like actually like come up to like engage you yet uh, so that's one with like the heavy flamers and then this one is a couple like uh, heavy plasmas or plasma cannons or whatever um, but it's just like a little basic thing. It's kind of hard to see because I did it in like that clear glow-in-the-dark plastic or whatever. But that's all I had. So, um, but it is cool that they glow in the dark. So, and then um, on top of that, also you can see obviously um, this is one of the 3D printed tiles that we showed how to do. It's like four of the six-inch sections, and then it's incorporated with like my actual magnetized uh, Zone Mortalis set and everything. But like most importantly, you know, I obviously have like some stairs and some other stuff going on. Um, I got like the knight up here and uh, what I got going on with this is pretty sweet uh, I basically made like a uh, uh, like 3d printed turntable I initially tried to hook a motor up to it just something that I had like laying around from an old printer uh, but it just did not have like the torque to make it happen uh, even with like attempting to like re-gear it so I had to pass on that one but it is pretty cool uh, basically I incorporated it into um into this uh tile right here so uh, i'm gonna kind of like uh take it apart a little bit and um just kind of show you uh show you what i did so you can kind of see here switch this over real quick so just take a couple of these bad boys out of here kind of see what's going on so like these these ones right here um, these are like the magnetized ones uh, so they're actually magnetized into uh, the top pieces right here so you can see in the videos like how we did that it's pretty cool they obviously like you know stay perfectly well and then as you can see uh, when you do two of them opposite each other uh, these pieces are made to like stick to each other and uh, you know they're obviously like set to always line up and everything and then we also have like magnetized pieces on the sides and everything and uh, that's like what your stairs are gonna go to so if you haven't checked out like the previous videos on how we uh, how we did that explaining basically like how to do it and make sure that all your pieces are always like magnetized correctly um, no matter which way you like spin them or whatever um, I definitely recommend you check that out and then also we show you like how to magnetize the side bits uh, for the stairs to like fit into but anyway this is not about that um, this is about our little box that we set up here so essentially what we did was um, we have like the the sides right here going along we took these pieces that we had um, 3d printed right here it's basically like um, it's kind of like the same design off of like some of the games workshop like terrain basically or like similar to it uh, but this is like the one uh, story size one so it fits like exactly the same height as the regular piece um, so I use that like all down the side here like the solid pieces but then you'll see when I show you the box when I open it up and everything um, on this side like there's two layers of cardboard so I didn't want to have to like cut it out and like respace it so what I did was I took that same print and I basically just like sliced it super super thin so this one is is essentially just like a little textured like om it's almost like I mean you can see because it's almost clear obviously uh, but it's it's literally just cut down as small as it can to still have like the design and then what I did was I just took pieces of that and then attached it on this side of the wall and then the way I have it set up is so that when it pushes up next to the next tile it sets up perfectly so that when this is all um, in, like locked into place and everything, it's spaced out perfectly so they all line up. And then I could add in magnets um, on this piece if I want, but I left like a little ledge so like the lip kind of just like sits on top of it. 
You probably can't see real well in the pictures, but all right. So now for the actual box, because I know you want to see that. It's like pretty cool. Um, and this is all made out of like 3D print. Um, there's no actual Games Workshop components in this. And then like I actually like printed the whole. Oh, I take it back. There's one Games Workshop component. I take it back. I'll show you in a sec. But I 3D printed like the whole mechanism and everything um, inside too. So you'll see, obviously you can see the detail on that. It's pretty cool, you know what I mean? I, I need to clean it up. There's still like little filament like hairs and everything. Uh, and then there's like the side piece and everything like I was saying. And you could see how thin it is because you can actually see like the super glue um, like marks through there basically. But I just took a couple pieces of that and like space it out. And then now you'll be able to see like the one component that is Games Workshop. Uh, it's the box from Blackstone Fortress. Um, and then that's like the little uh, gear um, that I made for like actually like rotating it. So when you spin that, it spins the top. And like I said, I tried with the motor, but I was, you know, with everything going on, you know, I, I don't have like the availability and I kind of just wanted to use what I had laying around. So um, you can see what we got. So now it's set up so you can basically take the top off of it and then, you know, remove it if you needed to get like inside there or for paint or whatever. And then you have that piece, obviously. Uh, and this thing is like solid now. You can see obviously what I was saying about how thick the plastic is. This is like the solid plastic through there. But if you look at this side, um, this is like the real thin, uh, just like the layering on there. So this is like heavy duty. I don't know, it weighs probably a pound or two because it is like freaking solid plastic. And those are just the tiles. I went through and like cut out um, the circle shape for the pedestal. And then this is the actual um, like turntable itself. Uh, I modified like the legs and everything to get like the right height and uh, you know to increase like the mounting point so I could super glue it down. And then obviously I took like the center piece um, from that and uh, attached it to like the little uh, plate. And then I made like this custom little mechanism and everything. And uh, I was running it with the drill and everything to make sure it worked initially. So I made like a piece for the drill and then I made one that would fit onto this and everything. So once I got that done, I trimmed down the box and everything uh, to the right size. And then basically you just, it's still kind of noisy and everything. It's not perfect, but I mean, it works. I didn't have anything before, so it's better than nothing, I suppose. And uh, it's cool that it's like just a Necromunda tile that you could like use in your games and everything. And it is like raised up. And then obviously you can just, uh, you know, just kind of show you how it works. You can position it however you want. Um, and then this piece actually comes off of there too. This was pretty cool too. I thought this was like super Necromunda. -y. I'm like, I should just leave that exposed. That's like the most Necromunda thing about it. Uh, but that's pretty cool. So you can see um, the whole thing is 3D printed. It's all different components. I basically like modified the print um, that I found on Thingiverse. Uh, and none of this is my original stuff. Uh, I modified like all other people's files. So I'm not taking credit for any of this stuff. It's awesome that it was all on there and uh, easy to find. But you know, basically, uh, you print like this bearing first, this main piece, and then uh, you know print the gears and everything like separate, and then the mounts, uh, and uh, you know then you obviously like you know put it all together, and then just took like the piece that you print on this, and you can see again like you know how thin it is, the actual plastic. It has like these little pieces, so it fits in perfectly, and then you can just drop it, uh, drop it in, and then uh, you know you obviously got this bad boy. You saw what it was. And I mean, it's pretty cool, obviously, for game terms. And, you know, it would definitely be cool to, uh, I didn't like actually put it on there. But it would definitely be cool to, uh, you know, hook it up to a little, um, like, motor and have it, like, slow turning or whatever in a game or something like that. But um, I, I thought that was pretty cool. It was a, definitely, like, a neat thing. And it's set up. I thought that was pretty cool it's definitely like a neat little um thing and it's set up so like you push the tiles together and they're like perfectly spaced so when it's pushed into place it can't like uh unalign itself and then you can basically just take like you know whatever piece you're using and again none of this stuff is the actual games workshop stuff this is all uh like the 3d print and then i put like the little nubs on the 3d print um so that you could actually like uh um, like like stick these on I don't know if you saw that video but they basically like attach on there like pretty solid and then you know there's a bunch of videos on how to magnetize all the stuff and everything and uh, you know you can see basically like the setup how we built it this was like a cool little thing if you didn't see the video for this this was like the palanite enforcers like um, front desk there's like a little check-in screen 
uh, if you come into the police station and then a couple of people like sitting back here with like some bolters stash underneath and everything and uh, you know some screens monitor and everything but that was like a cool little thing we did and then uh, it, it was also cool that we set it up so you can basically like slap it together and if you don't want to use it like that in game terms you can just use it as like you know just your regular Joe Schmo wall um, you know what I mean with just a little like cool little twist to it uh, but if you want to like take it to the next level you know what I mean do something thematic and uh, like you know we're gonna have the corpse grinders like basically like raiding the Palanite, uh you know uh, station or missions but um, you can see how cool the magnets and everything worked out and obviously like how cool the turntable is and if you haven't seen like uh, how we did like the stairs and everything too uh, I recommend you check that out because um, that's pretty neat as well but we basically got like these all set up um, so all this stuff is magnetized so that's like attached obviously as you can see in there and then um, you know you can take whatever pieces uh, you know whatever whatever you're trying to do but just wanted to have like unlimited uh, configurations basically for uh, for our board and uh, we 100% achieved that uh, it's awesome and we're looking forward to getting some games in and it's cool to have like some solid static pieces like what we made but also to um, you know have like a bunch of stuff that we can move around and uh, and uh, yeah that's it tons of cool customizations I hope you guys enjoy the content and uh, you know I have been real busy lately but I'm gonna start knocking out these videos again as uh, quarantine goes into lockdown and I have a little more um, time and everything so there you have it guys Warhammer Man Studios I'm Warhammer Man I uh, hope you guys like the uh, little rotation action here and uh, looking forward to getting some games and getting some of this stuff kind of painted up and uh, you know kind of showing off some of our models in the future uh, like on this little turntable so Warhammer Man Studios and I'm out of here.